Good morning. I just finished my yoga practice and I'm feeling like a major salt hangover. I'm picking around my day today because um, I kind of have, have two exciting things happening, but first I need to shower. I'm sitting here thinking about whether I'm going to tell you what I'm doing right now. I think I am. I, I'm, I'm working on my book. I don't know why, but I, I have like these superstitions about sharing about when I'm writing, but it's really stupid. I, I just, I am working on a book and I'm sitting here on my couch with my adorable cat. Um, I'm, I'm going to work on it. Hi. Uh, so I'm eating a couple bananas really quick because, um, I'm doing hypnotherapy. I'm doing hypnotherapy in a few minutes. As you know, I mean, I've talked about it before. I've struggled with sleeping my whole life. Falling asleep is like, it's always a, a gamble whether I'm going to be able to do it. I've been kind of on the hunt for something that can actually help me and because it's been such a huge part of <clears throat> my life and my health and my mental well-being and not being able to sleep so I am trying hypnotherapy and tapping for my first time and I'm really hungry so I need to eat these really quick. Oh, I'm nervous and excited. See this face? This is after <laughs> refreshing myself because wow hypnotherapy is emotional. Um, I have talked about sleep and insomnia quite a bit in my social medias because it is something I have struggled with almost my entire life as well as depression and anxiety and I want to make a whole video about sleep and about my experience with hypnotherapy but I just started so just you know if you guys have done it maybe comment below tell me what you guys have done and what your experience has been like I also would love to make a whole video about depression and anxiety especially um, because Ah, wow, there's just so much to say. And the one thing I will say right now about depression and anxiety is everyone's depression and anxiety is totally different. And so it's a very personal, personal journey. But, wow, why am I vlogging today when all I have been doing is sitting around my house crying? Hmm, let's make lunch. I'm going to make Medical Medium's Heavy Metal Detox Smoothie. I haven't made this in a while. I don't follow his exact recipe for this smoothie, but essentially I just include the ingredients that are supposed to detox the heavy metals in your brain. I don't have anything else to say, but it sounded like I was. Here are my two oranges. Guys, this isn't my plastic bag. My mom... <laughs> So what I do have is my own reusable plastic bags for bananas. These are the wild blueberries that I use and I like them because they come in a really big bag and they're a decent price. I'm going to do some dulse, spirulina, barley grass juice powder, and water and that's it. This isn't retraining, what I do isn't retraining subconscious. Um, what the premise of the book is when you grow when you're growing up or when you're living i just have to show you my dog because she looks so cute and her tail is freaking out my cat <laughs> what are you waiting for who are you waiting for on here i know we all love our dogs but can we just agree that padme is one of the cutest and now i'm going to put some makeup on so i don't look like this and I'm going to film a YouTube video. I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about yet, but I think I have, it's probably going to be brilliant, probably. Oh. I just filmed my YouTube video and I filmed it like 50 times because I wasn't happy with it, but now I am actually going to um, a local university campus to interview a previous colleague of mine for a podcast interview I'm so excited about. I'm going to tell you more about it. I'm going to grab some granola that I made the other day to eat on the way. Yep, it's one of those days. It's turning into one of those days. I didn't think it was going to be one of those. those... <laughs> Help. This is my granola I made. It's like a peanut butter granola and I showed you how to make it in one of my last videos and I put blueberries on top. And I'm going to attempt to eat this without getting in a car accident. Mm-hmm. Also, I need a really cool new band. You guys have like an obscure, fun band you think I might like that I can listen to on the way? 
I just got here. I have a few minutes and I'm gonna finish this real quick. I'm interviewing a colleague named Dan Waite. He's really amazing. He has such a cool story. And we are gonna talk about higher education. <laughs> which may sound boring to you but let me assure you this applies to almost everybody if you go to college have gone to college or thinking about going to college or thinking about not going to college or if you teach college or work in administration this applies to you essentially this podcast is operating on the premise that higher education is failing students and we are reimagining to use Dan's words um, what higher education can be and actually if you listen to our unschooling episode on the podcast this is to think of it like unschooling at the university level because most people think of unschooling in the in the K through 12 realm um, this is for university students more on that later I gotta go meet him I don't even have his office number I think he said he was on the second floor Hey. How are you? This is Dan. Hello. This is Dan Waite, and I'm so excited to have this conversation. We're just gonna like, geek out on higher ed. I'm <laughs> so ready to geek out. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. On education. So, and I think we have a lot of educators listening, so I think it'll be interesting. We're gonna totally mess with their brains yes. and leave them confused. Exactly. And, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get all set up. Sounds good. Oh, 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 That was such a fun episode. Um, I'm such a nerd, I love talking about education. We literally talked for an hour and 40 minutes and then after we turned off the mics, we had uh, like basically a whole other podcast. <laughs> Just want to say a huge thank you to Dan Waite for joining me on the podcast. I'm so excited to share this with everyone. Um, I think this is really going to revolutionize some people's ideas about studying at a university and teaching at a university and sending your kids to university. So much to talk about. I can't wait to hear your comments, you guys in the, in the audience, you guys behind the computer screens. Going to a university. I have so much on my mind. I can't, I don't think I can listen to anything on the way home. Do you mind being in my vlog right now? Vlog. Vlog. You see the camera I'm holding? What are you gonna do? I'm not dressed. Just whatever. We're not looking at your clothes. My father and I are getting our dinner together. We're eating leftovers from Easter. And I didn't I didn't like pay attention to what he was eating yesterday and I was like, oh did you eat the lamb? Because everything was vegan except they did serve um, animal flesh. And my dad said, No. What is happening with you? Yes, I know. I'm a monster turning into Frankenstein. Plant-based Frankenstein. <laughs> My mother got these blueberries. I normally don't buy blueberries because they're expensive and they do come in a plastic container, but she bought them from Costco and I'm going to eat like an entire bowl of them because they're so good. As I am waiting... <clears throat> oh. Prince, you're so cute. As I am waiting for my potatoes to bake and just uh, my food to get hot, I am sitting on my computer and answering a bunch of emails. Something I've been doing a lot lately is like meeting people um, and you know meeting them for the first time and them helping me with something, and then I'm like sending them a thank you email. So I just I'm constantly on my emails lately. I don't know if anyone can relate to this. <laughs> Has anyone had a morel mushroom? These are <gasps> so good. My family's obsessed. These were leftover from Easter. My mom made a big plate of mushrooms, which is very common for us for a holiday. And she orders these online. They're very expensive and amazing. But she used to forage these in Indiana and we eat them all the time. Mm. I can't even tell you. Hands down, favorite mushroom. Look at this beautiful one. See it? What's that, honey? Honey bunny? Tahini sauce. Oh, that sounds good. And that is all. I am now full and I'm going to get some work done on my computer and then go to sleep. And I want to encourage anyone who's interested in education and unschooling at the university level to check out our podcast. However, this will not be out for a couple of months, so just keep an eye out. And I'm super excited to show it to you because we talked about some super exciting stuff that I can't wait to share with the world. Did I, did I be, we all, did I be.